Franklin Delano Roosevelt, President of the United States in the Great Depression to World War II, was not able to walk. He had polio when he was very young, so he was confined to a wheelchair. However, instead of focusing on his misfortune of not being able to walk, he focused on his speaking ability and his ability to reach people. And thus, he became President of the United States for three consecutive terms. Which brings me to the quotation I've been given today. Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do, by John Wooden. What Mr. Wooden is telling us is that many of us have shortcomings. However, in order to become successful in life, we must focus on the things we can do rather than what we cannot do. So we're going to examine Mr. Wooden's knowledge by first looking at the world of politics, second looking at the world of literature, before finally taking a look at it through the world of sports. Sarah Palin, former governor of Alaska, was nothing more than a sports journalist. However, she rose through the ranks and eventually became governor of her home state, the highest office you can hold in the state of Alaska. Now, Sarah Palin may have had many shortcomings, one of those being that she doesn't know much about politics. However, rather than focusing on what she could not do, she focused on what she could do, which is reach out to the people and be a good public spokesperson. And when she did this, she was able to reach out to the people of Alaska, and they voted for her and made her their governor. Now that we've examined John Wynn's quotation through the world of politics with former Governor Sarah Palin, let's take a look at it through the world of literature. Mulan is a character in the poem, The Ballad of Mulan, which is an ancient Chinese poem. This poem depicts the story of Mulan, who was born a woman. Now, Mulan wanted to fight in the army in the place of her father, who was injured. However, she wasn't going to be allowed to do this because she was a woman. Now, rather than focus on the fact that she was born a woman, Mulan decided that she was going to dress up as a man and join the fight anyway. And when she did this, she was able to help the army defeat the Huns who were invading China at the time. So rather than focusing on her shortcomings, she focused on what she could do, which is fight like anybody else. And she helped the army defeat the Huns. So now that we examine John Wooden's quotation first through Sarah Palin, and second through Mulan, let's take a look at it through the world of sports. In February of 2010, Vancouver, Canada played host to the Winter Olympics. One of the athletes competing was American Evan Lysacek. Now, Evan Lysacek is a figure skater, and throughout his career, many people thought he wasn't going to make it because he didn't have the ability to do many of the jumps that the other men were doing. In fact, sports writers had told Evan to maybe focus on competing as a woman because his jumps were very low and they didn't have the flair that the other men did. However, what Evan focused on were the things he could do, like express music like nobody else. And when he did this, he eventually achieved his dream of becoming Olympic champion, thereby showing us that rather than focusing on what Evan couldn't do, he focused on what he could do and was able to achieve his dream. Today, we examine John Wynn's quotation, Don't let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do, by first, looking at it through the world of politics with Sarah Palin, second, looking at it through the world of literature with the Ballad of Mulan, before finally examining it through the world of sports with Evan Lysacek. Former President Franklin Delano Roosevelt may not have been able to walk. However, what he had done in his three terms of office far outweighs anything anyone else could ever do in the world of politics, all because he focused on what he could do and not what he couldn't.